What's up, Quackopter fans? I'm going to join today. I'm going to be lighting like my Tarantula X6. Um, don't have any landing gear on it, so I have it laying flat on the ground. Just so I can bind it, it's uh, a little bit uneven. There's not a lot of flat spots around here. So I'm going to actually do a hand loss, hand launch. I just wanted to uh, bind it uh, on a level surface. That was the most level way to, to do it. But we'll. Uh, Take it off. The wind is blowing quite a bit today, so we're gonna need to turn up the speed mode. So now we're in the fast mode, and uh, I did have to do some repairs on this quadcopter. I was having some issues with the um, with one of the motors. The wire actually came out, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it into medium. Trying to find the right speed for the wind. We'll fly it around here. I do not have a camera on it. Uh, last flight I put the Runcam HD on the tarantula and flew fine with it on there. We lived, had a little bit of a drift uh, to the back right motor with the run cam on there. I just think it was uh, from me taking off without it being level. And uh, it flew fine until I tried to do a flip with the run cam on the top. And uh, when I did that, it did about eight simultaneous flips and uh, ended up crashing. So not a good idea to put a camera on the top and do some flips with it. So, uh, so far, so good. Flying well, even with this strong headwind, like I said, there's a pretty strong wind blowing in from the uh, left-hand side of the camera view. So if you don't have a tarantula, I highly recommend getting one. Very fun to fly. Uh, this one's band-aid up. <laughs> duct taped up quite a bit. You can see all the uh, electrical table bringing in close. Um, it's all over mine. That's the only thing holding it together. Uh, this was my learner so I beat the hell out of it and uh, lost uh, uh, quite a bit of screws just from uh, cracked frames or busting them off. Flew quite a bit with the uh, SJ cam on the top which isn't advised because over time it will wear out your gears, especially in a deserty condition like this with a lot of sand and grime. Uh, eventually those gears will start to go in the motors and uh, cause a lot of crashes. So the range is really good. This is probably <clears throat> the second best quadcopter I have with range other than my, uh, well actually probably the third F450 DJI flame wheel knockoff. Has really good range with the Turnigy uh, transmitter receiver combo, and then uh, since correcting the issue with my B303 Seeker, it's been getting excellent range lately too as well. So as you can see, it's flying well. We're in the uh, medium rate. We'll go ahead and uh, bring it overhead and just check our lights. Make sure we still have juice. I charged just about three days ago, so I haven't had a chance to get out in flight since charging it. So we'll probably get about three to four minutes out of it. Uh, one of the nice things about the tarantula too is that you can cut the throttle and then hit it and it will pick up or you can toss it from your hand if you choose to. Very, very manual quadcopter. Just checking over the lights again. Might run a low, especially at the rate of speed that we're flying. And I don't have any of the uh, motor guards on there or prop guards. And those have the uh, light covers, which help kind of magnify the light, especially in the, the daylight, to allow you to be able to see if you are running out of juice or not. So. But this quadcopter is super light. No need to get it registered. 
uh, probably about five ounces at best. Now if you do put a camera on there and some additional attachments then you'll, you'll probably exceed that phase um, weight requirements for registering it. But if, uh, just to be safe you might want to put your ID number on it just so there aren't any issues in case uh, you do get stopped in question. But, uh, Handling well today, especially with the wind. It flies really good with the uh, prop guards off and the landing gear off of it. They're getting a very good response rate out of uh, the tarantula. So we'll bring it in, take a close look at it right above head, our head. You can see I got the battery or the uh, rubber band running around the top, and that's to hold that uh, run cam which I had strapped to the top. Um, and also helps hold the battery bay on there. I have a battery bay mod so I knocked out the back fence so I could plug in the battery directly into the back and that allows me to uh, plug in the battery and unplug it, charge it directly from within the tarantula so you don't have to worry about taking it out uh, to charge it. So we're going to go ahead and bring it in for a landing here. Just land it on the ground. We have a Helicopter flying over the head. So that's the Tarantula X6. Like I was mentioning, there, you know, there's a lot of duct tape or electrical tape on mine. I'm missing some motor covers. Um, there's the battery bay mod, and that's where I had the SJ4000 or the uh, Runcam HD attached to the top. So. This video helped you out in any way. Definitely leave a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos in the future.